Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Today we're going to take a look at World of Battles and this is a free-to-play real-time strategy MMORPG. A lot of cool neat little elements that are kind of different. One of the nice things right off the bat, we're kind of loaded in the game, we played a little bit, had to do that because I needed to unlo unlock a bunch of features so I could show you guys all this different stuff. But if you check this out, this was really cool. Armies Online 1944. So a lot of Armies Online for you to jump in and be able to play games with and battle against and stuff like that. But let's run through some of kind of the core components that really make up World of Battles so you guys understand what's going on here. I did already go through the character creation process. Like I said, I had to create a character, get in, kind of unlock a lot of these different things so I could show you guys this different stuff. But you can see my army is the Taddies, leader is Jelena Jensen, recruit grade three, clan non, which means I haven't actually been recruited or haven't joined a clan or a uh, you know guild type thing. Uh, so to say, and then this is my uh, my little avatar. You can customize this, which is kind of cool. You can upload your own, customize them, look different, and then you got you could select a custom banner, all that stuff, and then you've got another thing over here that you're gonna be able to adjust later. You've got my level right there, EXP, and then you've got my current level victories. I actually lost the one game that I did play. Reliability is your reliability basically tells other players how reliable you are to stay into the game. So. When you actually get into a battle, are you going to stay? Are you going to bail? Whatever. whatever. So you've got your army details, which we can take a look at the army, kind of get an overview of my, what my statistics are. And then you've got several different races based upon kind of good, neutral, and evil. I'm actually in the neutral race, which is, or one of the neutral races, which is barbarians and Amazons. Then on the good side, you've got knights and dwarves. And on the evil side, you've got orcs and undead. And there's one other one that I can't remember right now, unfortunately. So anyways... So right now we're in kind of my advisors and you can see right here I've got the news advisor which is win three battles today and receive 10 gems tomorrow. Kind of nice that they have this system set up to where you can do things to actually earn gems which is the premium currency of the game. And then as you complete quests and whether you win or lose or just, just take part in battles you're actually going to earn and acquire uh, actual line units or gold and stuff like that and then you're going to be able to uh, use that gold to equip your characters or your units. So that's one of the cool things. So we're gonna take a look at that right now is you actually have the ability to go in and, and, and look at individual units, customize those units. Now a lot of this stuff is locked right now, but later on it will open up once I get to the point where I've leveled up high enough and I can actually open these up and then have access to the different arms and armor that are going to be available. We can actually adjust the arms or the you know weapon that I have for this character or for this unit, sorry. By looking over them, you can see there's my default. I've already paid for that. You can see battered dragon tooth blade saber. So you can see what it's going to actually do. And then it's got you know some negatives on there. Then it's also this worn fang of Skirthithrax, there we go, that's a mouthful, huh? You can see the stuff that it's going to do if I select that. Now I can actually click on that and it will adjust all my statistics so I can get a good idea of what that's going to do or what it's going to mess up for me. So you, now you have the ability to uh, arm all of your different units. So it's kind of cool that you have this ability and then as you can see here for my pikemen, I've got a lot of different options here. I've got you know, this Savage uh, Claw Pike, I've got this Amazon Runner Blade Spear, so on and so forth. But you can see a lot of these, three of these do cost gems, but then I've got these two options down here, which are always going to be weaker, which uh, <laughs> I can buy with just the earned currency by running a bunch of uh, battles or uh, running a bunch of different quests. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am actually going to pick up this Savage Spear. Let's go ahead and get that. Pretty simple, and then I can actually switch it over, and I can actually use gems if I've got a bunch of gems, or of course I can go get gems. They're always gonna take my money, right? Or they're always happy to take my money. They're not always gonna take my money, but they're always happy to take my money, so we'll just leave it at that. So there we go, you can see all my different units, and then all, you know the ability that I have to um, equip them with different stuff, and then you can see this unit grants war song spell to army powers when a unit is slain, spell cooldown increases by 150. Percent now the war song you'll see I'll actually be able to use that you'll be able to inspire and, and get additional attack for your uh, For your units when they're in battle now I can actually acquire this you can see acquire permanently you can acquire this unit with all the equipment It has for 500 gems it will lose mercenary status and will not need to rest anymore So you see you have to actually rest 
And you see, I can do nine more battles before I need to rest this unit. So it kind of gets a little bit tricky with some of these different units. You can see some of these don't have any, kind of the, these are kind of the base units. But then once you start to earn some of these units, which we'll get into in a second, they've got to rest so they can only do so many battles. Now we can go in here, we can recruit units. You've got all kinds of different units that you can choose from. You can see I'm not able to actually recruit any of these because they're level four, but then you've got other ones that are in the uh, good and the evil. What's the other one? The dark elves. So I had them, I had the orcs and I had the undead, but I didn't have the dark elves. But you can see all the different, you can see the different units that they have available to them, which some of these are really pretty cool. And, and like even that, you see the steam juggernaut, that animation is pretty cool. He's got a little saw in his hand, all kinds of different stuff in there. And then you've got the barbarians, the ones, these are all the ones that are available to me. And then there are the old ones. And these ones are not available. These, uh, these races, this is now available to me, the old ones, but it wasn't available to me before. And you can see I can't actually recruit any of these until I reach a much higher level. So I can't really do much there. Now going back to, I was telling you guys about how I need to uh, find myself a clan. This is where the clan wars really comes into play. So you can see you've got this giant map and you've got all these territories which are ruled by different clans and different members and stuff. And so if you get into a clan, then you can start participating. So you can see right here, reach level seven to unlock the option to participate in the clan war. And you go ahead and join a clan and you guys, and your clan can start taking over all of these different areas on the map, which you can see the map is absolutely enormous. So it's really cool that they've got all these different spots on the map for different uh, players and different clans to actually contest and try and take over. But let's go ahead and look at some of the other stuff, get us into some battle. So we've got our personal advisor, which will show us our achievements and rewards. And we can see right there, we got the wild hunt. We can see roster reserve. We already have that. We already looked at the news advisor. Then we got the career advisor, which they basically show us, you know, what level we are, what we get at that level, what we can get at level four. And you can see here, we've got a unit, the sharpshooters, and we've got a bunch of other stuff that comes into play. And then we've got the challenges advisor. Now the challenges advisor, as you can see, basically this is kind of your quest giver. So we can go in here, we do cooperate to win. We've got a bunch of different stuff that isn't actually open yet. So I've, I've got to do cooperate to win. So you will play this battle side by side with your ally. Together you must defeat the enemy army, which is more powerful than either of yours. So we'll go ahead and start that one. I want to show you guys this because this doesn't take very long to get into a battle. So I'm going to be able to show you guys the combat and how you kind of adjust your units. Now, knowing the powers of units is very important. Now, just like a lot of real-time strategy games, pikemen are good against uh, against uh, cavalry. Uh, cavalry is good against infantry, and then infantry is good against pikemen. So you kind of got to keep that in mind. And then the wild card in there is your archers. Now, archers, of course, are very, very weak in hand-to-hand -hand combat from a distance. They're great. So you want to keep them kind of a little ways away. So we've got our army is right here. Let's go ahead and hit deploy all. And then where is my partner's army? He's got to be over here somewhere. There he is. So he's cruising along, and he's actually kind of weak. So he's got he's got some little light cavalry, and then he's got some heavy infantry. So let's go down here, and just like any other real-time strategy game, a lot of the commands you're going to notice are very simple. So we can, you know, do that to highlight all of our guys. We can also take and click on individual ones and kind of move them around. So let's go ahead and cruise these guys up this way. And we're actually going to head over here. We don't want to get up on top of that ridge. Let's get caught up with my allies. They're kind of cruising along without me getting a little bit of ahead of the uh, the game here. So we're going to speed everybody up. Now you can see up in the top left-hand corner there, I've got a couple of different buffs. So I can actually take and I can highlight over all of my allies. Let's see if how many of these guys I can get in one shot here. I can get all mine and then some of his. And then all of those will speed up. So you can see they're all starting to move much, much much more quickly now in their, in their progress up towards the enemy up here. Now, what's really smart to do here is look at, okay, so we've got light cavalry. Now, they're already kind of engaged, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna just jump into the fray there and just start fighting. Now, even though they're a little bit, these, these guys are cavalry, and so my best units are not the cavalry, but they're gonna jump in there rather quickly, so they're gonna get in there and start wailing away on these guys. And there's they've got some light infantry and some light pikemen. So we wanna go ahead and we wanna grab our infantry, which is back here, and send them on the pikemen. And then we'll go ahead and, what do we, where, where's, our, where's our archers? They're way back here. So we're gonna go ahead and send our archers over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and kind of bonus up a bunch of our different guys there, a bunch of our different units, and let them go ahead and start wailing on them. Now we're actually gonna take, grab our, cavalry and have them zoom over there and take out those uh 
take out those archers. So these pikemen thought they were going to get a little run on us, but they're not. So we're going to go ahead and highlight all them, and we're going to take these pikemen out. And then now up here, you see you've got two options here. We can use this, which is Divine Wrath, which deals damage, or you can use the Arcane Shield. We're going to do those little Divine Wrath and throw down some damage on all these units because they're all nice and clustered up, so it's worth it for us to go ahead and see how many we can nail. And now we've, we've got a cooldown on our Divine Wrath, but we're going to go ahead and defensively bonus. So you can see these guys, they, they have the shield, but the energy went down rather quickly because we're getting kind of wailed on over here. So we need some we need some help. We need a lot of help. We need our infantry to uh, to uh, pick it pick it up. And we need our, our cavalry over here to pick it up. Actually, take these light archers down much much more quickly. So what do we got here? We have got two of our. So we've lost our pikemen already, and we've lost our our light cavalry. So let's go ahead and uh, let's let's hit some of these guys a little harder. And then it looks like these guys are sitting around doing nothing. So we're gonna charge them back in over here. And they're too tired to charge. So unfortunately they are they are beat already. All they did was run over there. They didn't do too much. So we're gonna go ahead and fire on them. Then we're gonna grab this little bonus here, throw around all these guys, give them. Now if you notice this war song bonus, which during war song effect, all friend units inside the area effect increase their attack. If more than one unit is affected by the bonus, it's divided between them. So because I was putting it on multiple units, they actually uh, they actually divided the bonus. So that kind of stinks. So let's grab all of our guys. It looks like our uh, our friendly units kind of got... No, they're actually still there. The heavy infantry. What's really cool is you can zoom in on these guys. You can get in really nice and close. See some really cool animations inside these like, these battles. We got these orc guys here. These, these, uh, these light cavalry enemy. And uh, they're pretty much getting railed on. So there we go. That's, as, that's how easy it was to uh, take the victory there. I love the fact that you can zoom in nice and tight. You can see like all the detail on all these different units. These guys have got some pretty cool tattoos and all that stuff. So it's really cool to be able to zoom in like that. I'm sorry that I actually waited so long to do it. But just like any other kind of game where you have these different battles, you're going to get kind of your, your leaderboard stuff. And right now we're going to, we're going to act actually get the, uh, the final what exactly happened, how it went down, who won what. So here we go. We kind of get the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The summary. So soldiers deployed, enemy units killed, number of victories. So we got zero, and then there's what we got: 250 gold and 75 experience. And you can see that gets dumped right into as soon as we get out of here. You can see that gets dumped right into here, and then we see our experience jumped way up. Now a personal advisor has something for us, which is actually nothing. So let's see here: achievements. So did we get another achievement? Units and army, five of six. Challenges completed, 6 of 40, so I think that's because I actually completed another challenge. So you can see there's 40 total quests that you can actually complete and earn a bunch of experience, actually help yourself level up. Then you're going to have to go and start doing the actual battles here. Now we can actually look at, where's the leaderboard? Let's see here. Open the mail. Nope, not the mail. We want to see the leaderboard. Let's see here. Is it here? Nope. We saw the leaderboard earlier. Basically shows all of the different uh, all the different armies and and kind of their rankings and all that stuff. Let's see if we can get into a a, a PVP match. This may take a minute or so, but uh, but we get into it. We got into it before and it didn't take didn't take too long. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pause the video and then I will come back as soon as this is, as soon as we're in the match and then you guys can see a little bit of what the PVP has to offer. All right, so we're all back. We're in our we're in our match here. And we did just get a nice little bonus there. So Gronk's Undead Army is ready. So we can look around on the map by just clicking on it. And we can see these guys are pretty cool. Look at those Clan Ursine Heavy Cavalry. Of course, my dog is saying hello. So let's take a look at what he's got. It almost, almost looks like he's, he's riding on some bears. He's got a bunch of heavy cavalry type guys. Hold on one second. There we go. So you can see him crew these, all his uh, all his units cruising off in that direction. We're gonna go ahead and get back to our units, and uh, let's go ahead and head off over here and see what we can see what kind of truck. Actually, you know, we're gonna go and follow him. Let's follow him and uh, kind of uh, do our thing. We'll, we'll speed ourselves up here, and then we can we can we can catch up to him and hopefully see uh, see if we can see some action with. Uh, with him and, and uh, maybe kind of pile ourselves up and, and do a lot more damage as one big army instead of two separate smaller armies. But I think, like I said, I was saying before, it's really cool to be able to zoom in and see all the different units, see all the different details on the units. We can cruise up this way. 
And I love these uh, these guys rolling around the bears with these giant, uh, I don't even know what to call those. It's almost like they're little, uh, little steam things. I don't know what they're even for. <laughs> it's kind of funny to even look at them. So where is our, uh, come on over, we're packing s'mores. All right, so where's my army? There they are. Where's the rest of them? Get over here, you bums. I need to speed up. <laughs> So of course, as you can see, like my 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 cavalry is moving much more quickly than my infantry because obviously they're on they're on uh, uh, steeds, let's call them, or mounts, so to say. And so of course they're going to move much more quickly. And so we're going to kind of I think we're all going to we're going to kind of cruise around this uh, this end over here, see if we can't uh, we can't find some some fun. There's got to be some bad guys over here somewhere. Oh, there we go. There's some. They're getting up on the ridge. And it looks like they're gonna try and take us down from up high. So we're gonna try and we're gonna try and sneak in behind them here. Actually, it looks like they've got some light cavalry coming at us. So we'll go ahead and we'll go right at these guys. Let's go ahead and speed these guys up. Get them get them in the fray much more quickly. Where's the rest of my units? They're they're falling behind. See if we can. Oh, this guy! This guy barely did anything, and uh, these, the, he took about half of the, these guys down. So come on, stop running away! There we go. He's finally gonna turn around and attack me. So let's see if we can take these guys down. So we've got some uh, some field marshals. These guys are all way higher level than me. Where are my pikemen? There are my pikemen. So unfortunately, these guys, he knew exactly what he was doing, so he went and he just wrecked my archers. Took a lot, basically took them halfway down. They're badly wounded. So let's get in there and uh, let's get these guys a little, a little bonus up. Let's actually try and beat on his pikemen a little bit. Take these guys down, let's speed all these guys up. I'm actually just creating a diversion. That's all I'm doing here. Too tired to charge. Awesome. Fantastic. Alright. So here we go. Basically it looks it looks like my guys are he's 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 got uh, I'm since I'm attacking all of them, my guys are or my since I was chasing these guys down and he's running away. My guys were following him and being kind of retarded. So let's let's get these guys a little little bonus up. Too tired to charge shield energy. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, do a little more. Let's do some divine wrath. All right, let's turn on these guys now that they are uh, coming back into the fray. Let's do a quick, quick little, uh, little shot there. Do some damage. And of course, now you get additional points, additional everything. I'm pretty much out of, almost out of guys here. Let's, uh, let's get these guys back down here. We're fighting. He basically, what is this guy doing? He was just running away. He basically just ran completely wrong way. So one thing I found so far is that the uh, <laughs> the guys that I've teamed up with so far have been have been pretty piss poor as far as their uh, their abilities, so to say. Let's see if we can kill at least this one guy. Yes, there we go. Knights of Templar killed unit. So there we go. The Taddies killed the unit. So just that one that one little shot. I actually got got a little got a little death dealt out of me so now I'm just getting wailed on so this is not gonna take very long let's put it that way oh here comes some here comes some bears let's see if they can help me I don't think that I don't think they're gonna be enough at all I think, I think we're pretty much toasted but you can see here you you've only got they, they one of the nice things is you can see the all the matches have a limited amount of time so you can see your team is behind you know, killed 86%, 71%. So it's actually having been awful. But this guy has got a bunch of different, uh, a bunch of different units sitting up there, just ready to, to take the last units that this guy has out. I don't even know where the rest of his units are. And there we go. So he just got a nice little healing out of all that. And this bear is about to go down, and that will probably call it a day. Let's see. There we go. Everything went dark. 
And the rest is, I believe this guy's got some units sitting here doing nothing. Which is always fantastic. It's so good that you had these guys sitting here doing absolutely nothing when, uh, when everybody could have really used them in the battle. So it's a good thing that he, that he wasted that and, uh, and, uh, and, and didn't have those in the actual fight. So let's see what else we've got here. Show or hide other players' flags. Show the battle statistics. So there we go. So soldiers 76, remaining army zero, enemy soldiers 51. So I took out 51 enemy soldiers. This guy obviously did the best, team two, took out 133 enemy soldiers. And then this guy had two times plus more soldiers than me and he took out 96. So he didn't really do too hot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him kind of a D. He should have done a lot better with all those soldiers. He had 168 soldiers. He should have been in there just wrecking guys. Is he actually still in there? Maybe, maybe he's still in there. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like he's still in there. He's the one that left his his cavalry behind. So let's see if he can actually pull this off. Let's see if I can actually bonus him a little. Let's see if I can bonus him. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see if I can give him a little. There we go. I actually can. So I can still buff these guys, which is pretty awesome that I can actually still buff my teammates while they're in while they're in battle. So even though even though I'm completely waxed and out of the game, I can still use my buffs here to uh, to buff them up. So that's kind of cool. So let's see if he actually can take these guys out. Oh, nice little charge. Hit them pretty hard. So let's see. He's only got a minute and 50 minute and 50 seconds to be able to take all these guys out and uh, and be able to um, be able to win the battle. So unfortunately, I can't. I can't use any of my. I almost could. Got pretty close to being able to use that. So he's, he's, it looks like he's almost trying to just avoid the fight until he can. Uh, he can kind of get up some uh, some more strength. But it looks like these guys are coming in, and they're gonna kind of end the battle pretty quick, unless he can get a couple more charges in, because he's getting waxed. That's it. It's all over. So he gets another charge in. See if we can speed him up a little bit. Get him, get him to be able to run away a little more. How much more time do we have in this? 19 seconds and we can give him a little buff. Too bad we can't heal him. But these guys are almost toast. He needs to just get away. One minute left and your team is behind. So what do we got here? F5. So that's cool. They've already got them, they've already got them situated on different F keys. So you can just be able to quickly use them. Let's go ahead and buff him up. And let's see if he can if he can get his charge back and be able to charge in there and take some of these guys out. All right, come on. But graphically, I mean the the, the landscapes are really well done. I mean you can see that they're I mean they're not fantastic, but they're still they're still pretty nice. And there he, he's trying to get up there to get to this archer. This this one little archer dude's trying to take him down, and he actually did. He took him down. So let's see if he can he can do any any wreak any havoc. Nope. So we're, we basically got 99% of our soldiers are killed, and here's the one soldier that's left that's about to go down by these archers down here. He's going to be taken out here any second. There we go. The battle is over. So unfortunately, we lost that one. So uh, And with only one second left anyways. So there we go. Big defeat. So, But I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. Don't forget to hit like on that uh on that screen there as we really do appreciate those likes and lastly if there's anything we missed or anything you think we should have covered feel free to comment we do appreciate those as well if you'd like to play or learn more about world of battles you can read our full review at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description till next time thanks for watching